LeVar Burton would be proud. Anyway, welcome back, friends and dairy products of all ages. This is Cheese of Ages with a continuing Let's Play Age of Dungeons of Dreadmoor. I broke a lockpick. Curse you, foul door. I shall pick you a second time. Anyway, continuing on with Vanding Dungeon Delvings with my sword wielding emo magic lawyer. I don't know why I decided to change pathways, but I am doing so. I shall do so again. There is a bee person. Is it hostile? I cannot tell. No, it is not. I shall put culprits there. So it can kill itself. A shame. Aha. Uh -huh. A weapon I cannot use. Anyway, this is a pretty nice dungeon delving experience, especially now that they've added depth to it, to where you can... Uh, dungeons have little rooms with purposes to them, rather than just being, you know, there. It uh, increases the experience exponentially, and I enjoy games like this, even though it's a bit repetitive. Get out of my way, passive creature, or I shall kill you. Amazonian bumblebee person. I killed that person for a passageway that is pointless. There's nothing there except me getting hurt. Actually, that didn't hurt me at all. Uh, do I have archery on this character? I've been playing this game off screen a bit, so I'm not entirely sure if I. Yeah, I have archery, so I can actually buy bolts over there if I want. So it wasn't completely useless. <coughs> I don't know what's up with my throat lately. And it's not like anybody can freaking tell the difference. My voice is usually freaking monotone and growly anyway. <coughs> Rusty Caltrips. Uh, if anything, extra growliness might actually add some measure of personality to my voice. Lord knows I don't actually have any personality of my own. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Time for a quest. You must use the item for the loathsome sin on the monolith. Only then can Lord Dreadmoor's 49th Brigade, the Bitter Kings, be summoned and defeated. Get this freaking fog of war out of the way as I proceed. So we've got to find an artifact, which is probably in my inventory. Why am I having so much trouble with this bat? There we go. Let's see if it's in my inventory. There it is. It's a glovey looking thing. We gotta find the obelisk and use that item on it. And pull a lever. Aha! More of my magic book conjuring meat. I noticed when watching the previous video before that I've left a lot of meat behind. I should at some point go back and get that. But, it's not like I'll have a shortage. Come to think of it, why did freaking meat come from an evil magic potato? Oh well. Mmm, eggs. Dang it. More potatoes. Ah, oh, this is from the... Monster is commander of Lord Dredgemore's 97th Brigade, the setting of gear. Uh, well, it's not what I was <coughs> needing. Pirates training breaches. Uh, get one point of caddishness, which affects critical hits and counterattacking chance. Open this door. Get in here. What's through here? Ooh, a chest and a lever. Uh, open something somewhere. More stuff, and another little red cookbook. Look in all these cells, see if there's anything of particular interest, and use my handy lawyer powers to fetch it forth. There's an enemy in there. Common cave raven. Can't break that chest. <clears throat> and this is a dead end. 
I uh, wonder if that lever shut that or there's another level to open that. Uh, well, you know, part of me was hoping I'd get more views from a Let's Play and it might attract more people to my channel. You know, it's not the only reason I did this Let's Play. Because, uh, you know, I just, this is the game I wanted to do a Let's Play of. That was the primary thing. A random street light. Okay. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I was hoping that a Let's Play would attract more views and stuff, but I suppose, you know, you can't just rely on video game play things. You know, easy solutions like a Let's Play to boost views. And, heck, it's not really a big deal anyway. I'd get views if I actually bothered doing more tags on my videos, or, you know, did more popular medium, or actually had more personality, <laughs> or had a better uh, speaking voice. And, you know, I realize I don't exactly have a huge amount of personality or emotiveness in my voice. It's, it's not really something I can help. I really work f much better when I have someone else to work off of. So I should probably like, get a partner or something if I really want to make videos or something. I've tried to do podcasts before. But, uh, you know, for whatever reason, they just haven't worked all that well. For one, I've never actually been able to get in contact with my compatriots more than... On several occasions, projects of mine have fallen through because I wasn't able to contact my compatriots or get guests for uh, the show to continue, or computer problems happened. Uh, yeah, I was going to do a bleach abridged, uh, yeah, a bleach abridged series, believe it or not. That was okay. Had too many jokes in it, not all of which were funny. Uh, but, you know, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but basically I worked on it, and I worked on it, and I worked on it, time and time again. I, just, I almost had it completely done, then my computer crashes, and I lose every single dang thing. Every single thing. And that was just frustrating. I canned the project, just because I didn't want to go through the freaking five days worth of editing I'd gone through. Because I was new to editing, and yeah, with a bridge series, sometimes you gotta like alter the animation itself through cutting and masking and video editing software. And I had altered, I had done this in several places to make the dialogue work uh, perfectly, and you know, made sure to minutely adjust f uh, everything. I went to the trouble of like going to the exact proper frame so there would not be any janky animation at all with my editing and then it just goes down the tube <laughs> that's frustrating I'm gonna go with even more uh, of the tinkering boosting my ability to make stuffs and considerably boosting my trap access and stuff I just going with this on a whim. I'm not exactly sure what that green thing is, but I've had it for a bit. I should check that. But yeah, I'm really good with traps now, especially considering I have this as well, boosting me by a point. So yeah, I can defuse a lot of traps. <laughs> In fact, every rank of Tinkerer boosts my traps, and defusing a good bit. So yeah, that's interesting. Uh, Cog Jockey just boosts more stats and uh, my ability to tinker's death. Okay, so green thingy with finger pointed up. What does that do? Hmm. Playing a bitchy game, checking my steps. Green thingy with finger pointed upwards. Savvy. Uh, makes magical haywire chance and sneakiness. Okay. Good to know. Anyway, my trap. Open in doors. Yeah, what, what does this even do? I forgot to look. Okay, magical resistance. I don't have a ring at all, so hey, magical resistance. Woohoo. I 
should really boost swordsmanship at a point. And you notice, I've never seen these traps before, but they are showing themselves to me. Uh -huh. I will come back to this. I will encounter an enemy, and I will put the trap down in front of it. Open. I must carry this trap. Your inventory is full. Crap. Oh, my inventory is full. I must put something random and useless away to make room for this thing. Carry this with me so I can just plop it down. Do I have another one of those traps there? Because I could fit that in my inventory if I did. Your inventory oh well. At least got me the experience for defusing it. I carry this one back with me instead and look for some other route. Since that one is blocked off by stiffs. I should probably head down to the store. But I'm not going to bother right now. I should have done that off screen. Oh well. Next video. I will have done so. I'll hop in a teleporter. Maybe it'll take me somewhere. It took me <laughs> just down here. Ah, uh, okay, there's a place I haven't been before. I don't know how I'm going to get around there. Maybe there's a teleporter down here. That will get me in there. Well, hello. I'm going to place this down. Oh, I forgot. Bats aren't affected by traps since they fly. Oh well. I'll step on it myself. Sneakiness also boosts your resistance to traps. You won't set off traps as much when you uh, ca carelessly step on them like I frequently do. <laughs> so that's good for me too. Nah, I rarely find things on barbecues for some reason. Nearly stepped on that. I have an anti-magic trap in my inventory. Make this easily accessible for later. Are you trying to kill me? Well then come forth. Or fifth. I don't care which one. Curse you. You've got in beside me. Your inventory is full. I should place it here so I cannot escape. Wait, that makes no sense. Heroic vandalism time. Roderick Ludafisk Cube. Ow, I didn't even see that. Numb. But yeah, I've had a lot of projects fall through because I wasn't able to contact my crew or get more guests for podcasts, so I don't know. Uh, another ring. It's not like, you know, I want to... Uh, it's not like this is the sole thing I want to do with my life. Ah, uh, I want to drink acid. That's what I want to do. Oh. Anyway, this is not exactly the thing I want to spend the rest of my life doing, of course. I don't want to... Uh, you know, it would be nice if I could make a living off of this, but it's not really the focus of my entire existence, if you get what I'm saying. Now... I want to do other things, of course. Like, you know, in my inventory. Uh, you know, what I'm trying to say is, you know, you know, it would be good and I'd enjoy, you know, making a career out of this, but, you know, it's not like it's a dream or anything. <laughs> and I am, you know, fairly devoted to this channel. Of putting out, you know, interesting, in my opinion, stuff on it, but I'll make what videos I want to make, and, uh, hopefully that will be appreciated by everyone watching, even though I don't get... Why am I not attacking? <laughs> okay, so, anyway, these flying buggers... Oh, crap, it's one of those little higher skill... Okay, I need to... I need to fucking run. I, I just... 
idled my way to death, probably, right here. I have screwed myself over majorly. Uh, get away from me. <laughs> get away from me. Teleport them away. Eat something. Get some distance. Heal up a bit. Have a steak. Nom nom nom. Get away. Uh, oh crap. A boss. Get away. Told you to get away from me. Crap, it didn't work. I found the dimensional keys. Aha. I shall get away from this A terrible situation. totally blind. I thought that was like a freaking closed room. Mm, have I been here before? I don't know. No, I have not pulled that lever. Potion of clear vision. Oh, well this is back in that area there. Hello. hello. Goodbye. I had more combat powers. <clears throat> oh wait, I have archery. What am I thinking? Fire. Stop dodging me! Jesus. This thing is freaking butchering me. Run away. for healing. Mm. Need to get some more stuffs. Mmm, a Danish. And a beer I dropped. been working on various other things, besides from this channel. I'm mainly just doing this let's play because I want to do a let's play of the game. Uh. Oh, I poisoned myself. A uh. while back I posted a video about uh, basically semi-retiring from YouTube, but now I'm back to an extent, an active. Uh, I'm not full fledged back, of course, because I'm not. Well, well, I actually am more back than I was before, so I can't really say that. Uh, damn it! I need to stop talking about other things. Because I am just freaking getting butchered by, like, infinity. Yum, yum. 
out of my way, things. Ah, I need this. This is needed. Let's put that there. Equip this. Heal me. Voila. There we go. <coughs> I'm feeling better now. More danishes. Let's see if I can get an apple in my inventory. Oh crap. Boss caught up to me. Mm, let's get some equipments on. And fire away. Why is this guy so freaking weak? Okay, there we go. We're having some slowdown issues. <coughs> yeah. Uh, a while back I'm uh, changing topics because uh, I was talking about not being back officially and working on other things. God darn it. Every time I freaking try and talk about something else, I get freaking owned. Let's make some... Well, I was going to put some distance between us with a teleport pad, but... Okay, there we go. Oh, fudge. I'm going to probably die. Okay, so, uh, uh let's do something. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh well, I'll continue with my discussion in a future video. Because uh, this guy has died because I suck and was not paying attention. <laughs> uh, we'll try something else next time. And I'll bring up... I'll continue my, what I was trying to say. Uh, basically, I've been working on projects aside from the channel. And one that I had previously mentioned... Uh, that I was designing a tabletop RPG is going pretty darn well actually and I have uh, gotten a lot of it done and am in the stages of getting near playtesting again after a major overhaul stuff like that uh, but yeah this guy he's dead he's dead permanently since it's now oh, permadeath Rupert the adventurer he blasphemed like an inferno killed by a diggle on level 1. Much higher score than a previous playthrough. So, hey, R Rupert the Adventurer was, uh, you know, not at complete loss. He actually managed the last three episodes. Uh, although he died by diggle and not something awesome like Thwedra Fletch, the president of gemstones. <laughs> Or my new highest score, Laurent the Archaeologist, who was gang-raped by weird alien things. Uh, this thing. <laughs> A whole mob of that thing, basically. So yeah, anyway, this is Cheese of Ages signing off.